Bespoke point charts, circle dot chart. And this is what it looks like. As with our previous tutorial, we are going to start off with drawing the individual grid, or the individual dots in a circle. And then we are going to color set dots based on the percentage value above. So we are going to create calculations that pull in the value from our data set and then displays this in a visual manner. A variation of this is to put the region and the percentage inside of the circle and we may explore that as well. The key thing here is let's open Tableau Desktop and let's get ready. So let's get started by loading our Superstore dataset. Let's go to Microsoft Excel. Let's open up our Superstore. And now let's bring orders onto the query panel. You can see the data has loaded and let's go to sheet one. As always, as we're going to use data densification, let's create our initial objects. So let's right click on ship mode. Go to create and let's create a new calculated field called path. In the formula, if and only if ship mode is equal to first class, then zero, else 360. This time, as you can see, we are drawing a circle, so we want the 360 degrees and we are going to play and manipulate that. Let's click OK. Because I want to create a more dynamic feel for the number of circles or number of points in the circle, I want to create a parameter. Let's call this bin size. Let's turn the data type to an integer and make the value 15. Just for now, we can edit this at a later time. Let's right click on path. Now we can create the bin object. So right click on path, go to create, select bins. Now, instead of entering a value, I'm going to put bin size in here. So the size of the bin is equal to our parameter. This gives us a dynamic feel. So this is the framework put together through data densification. Now we're going to build our initial circles. Let's create a field called index. Index minus one. Index gives you the position. Let's click OK. Now let's create our two first objects. One is going to be called X, so that's the X axis. We are going to put sine, radians, index. Nice and simple, make sure we close the bracket. We are now going to create another object, complementary. Let's call this Y, and it will be cos, radians, index. Again, we've covered this in our previous course, the trigonometry and the functions. Let's click apply. Now let's build a basic outline of our data visualization. Firstly, I want to take regions and drop that into columns. I then want to take X and also drop that into columns. I want to take Y and bring that into rows. So now you can see we have some points here. I want to change the mark type from automatic to circle, just so we have our points. I then want to do the following. I want to take path bin, bring it onto rows. I want us to right click and ensure that show missing values is selected. Once we're perfectly happy, I want us to drag that onto detail. Now we're going to adjust the table calculation compute. So I'll right click on X. Go to compute using and select path bin. As you can see, we now have all these beautiful points. Let's do the same with Y. Right click on the Y field, go to compute using and select path bin. Okay, so that's not quite what we wanted. However, we have our individual points now. The only problem is that the points are not spaced out as much as we would like. So what I want us to do is create a calculated field to allow us to space these out a bit more to build our circle. So let's go to create calculated field. Let's call this table calculation. Spacing. 
Now here we are going to take user take the Windows max table calculation and we are going to find a maximum value of path. So in our case that will be 360. Although if we modify the path value, we can play around with the number that we return. However, this should be 360. And we are going to divide that by the maximum index. So if you think about it, if there's 360 degrees in a circle and we have 10 points, it means that the spacing for each of these points should be 36 degrees. So we are going to build that in. Let's click apply. And now we are going to modify our X and Y calculated fields. So index will now be multiplied by DC spacing. Do not worry about it disappearing. This is the joys of bespoke visualization. Now, with that included, I want us to right click, go to compute using, and change it to path because we injected TC spacing into our calculated field it means that we have to modify to compute using again so now you can see we've built our grid however there's one slight issue that we have and this is something I only noticed myself about a year ago is that the following has two points which is quite strange. So all of these now have one point, however, 360 and zero come into the same point, which is not really what we want. So we need to adjust our spacing slightly and we need to shrink our spacing a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a window max of index and we're going to subtract one to it. We are then going to divide that by the window max of index. So essentially, instead of going all the way around and completing the circle and having the first and the last point on the same circle, which is annoying, we are just going to reduce it slightly. So if you see at the moment, if I hover over, you can see that zero and 360 are in the same place. However, if we modify the spacing calculation slightly using the following, you will now see that 360 appears here, 0 appears there, and you can see 0 only has one point. So again, nice and fun, we've built our grid. With that said, we can hide the region, we can get ready to build out. Let's increase the size a little bit, there we go. So now with our grid created, we are going to create some table calculations around our data set in order to color the individual points so that we can actually see our visualization in action. So let's create a few quick calculations. Let's go and create a calculated field and call this TC cells. We are going to say windows sum, the sum of cells nice and simple i want us to copy this text i want us to create a new calculated field let's call this tc total cells and paste in that same formula window sum sum of cells now we need a percentage so let's take tc percentage and let's call this tc cells divided by TC total cells. So now that gives us our way of embedding data into this frame that we've built. Now lastly, we need a TC color. So create calculated field. Now in the calculation, we are going to create an if statement. If index, which is the index of individual point divided by the maximum index, the total number of points. So that gives us a percentage for each individual point. If that's less than TC percentage, then we are going to put in there 
color else gray nice and simple let's click ok let's take tc color and drop it onto our color mark not quite what we wanted yet but let's right click on color go to compute using and select path bin now what we have to do is right click on tc color and we have to edit the table calculation so let's do that let's in our nested calculation select total cells because right now cells and total cells essentially as they have the same calculation will bring back the same value however we don't want a resort so let's tick region and here we have it we have our color and our grays let's double click on gray for a moment and change this color to a light gray now we're getting very close we're almost getting there However, I don't want the colors here to just be blue. So let's do the following. Let's edit our TC color calculation. And instead of having a static text, let's type Windows max, max color. Oh, sorry, not max color, max region. Remember, because we're dealing with table calculations glow, we also have to wrap around our calculated fields or our data fields with table calculations as well let's click apply voila as you can see the color is now there let's actually add the final cosmetics to finish this off let's take tc percentage and drop this up here have to admit this looks cool but it's not what we're going for at this moment right click on tc percentage and convert that to a discrete as you can see the percentage sign is now there let me just increase the size a little bit now all we have to do is apply a little bit of formatting so let's hide the headers we don't need them anymore let's right click on tc percentage and select format let's change this to the tableau bold let's give it a bit of oomph let's make the size Let's see what 16 looks like. That looks pretty good. And let's change this to a percentage. Your decimal place works for me. Now right click onto the blank space in your canvas. Go to format. Let's remove the unnecessary grid lines, zero lines. Let's just, out of habit, I remove everything. So let's just do that. Let's go to format borders. Let's remove the row dividers and for the column dividers let's make a dashed line and let's rename our sheet to circle.chart we don't need the legends anymore so we could hide those and voila let's take order date bring it onto our filters let's filter by year let's say take 2020 for now let's go to format animations let's enable animations because i just love this stuff let's show the filter let's edit the filter so that we have a single value list and here we have it you've built your very own circle dot chart So oh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you need to, revisit, go through it again. Otherwise, see you in the next tutorial.